The former Kings announcer ousted over an All Lives Matter tweet is suing his old radio employer for wrongful termination. Longtime KHTK broadcaster Grant Napier was dropped back in June of 2020 after more than two decades on the air. CBS 13's Adrian Moore spoke to Napier and his attorney about why he's taking legal action now. Adrian. Elizabeth and Tony Napier remains unapologetic about his tweets, saying this lawsuit is his way of righting a wrong, calling the loss of his job the hardest thing he has ever been through in his life. I was wrong. I don't feel I did anything wrong. After decades of play-by-play -play work for the Kings, Grant Napier is putting the full court press on his former radio station employer. I made the comment on May 31st and less than 48 hours later, my career as I knew it didn't exist anymore. That comment was a tweet in response to a question from former King star DeMarcus Cousins about the Black Lives Matter movement. All lives matter. Every single one is deemed racist by a company or by others. I mean, who doesn't believe all lives matter? Every single one. In a newly filed lawsuit against KHTK's parent company, Bonneville International, the 62-year-old alleges wrongful termination, discrimination, and retaliation. The complaint says no one from Bonneville ever told Napier that he was terminated for material dishonesty, misconduct, or any conduct that might discredit the goodwill, good name, or reputation of the company. It's super crystal clear that the folks out in Salt Lake City made a hasty and wrong-headed and discriminatory decision when they made this summary decision to terminate Grant. There was no investigation. In a statement last June, Bonneville called his tweet insensitive, saying it parted ways with Napier because his comments did not reflect the views and values of Bonneville. While the suit seeks damages, the real goal, says Napier, is restoring his reputation. I want my name restored. I want some, I want to be vindicated. Now, Napier has since launched a podcast. We did reach out to Bonneville International earlier this evening, but they had no comment tonight on the lawsuit. All right. Thanks, Adrian.